Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. So we are starting the next chapter, Algebra. You have done Algebra in year 7 and 8. So today's lesson will be a quick recap on the things that you should know. So just a revision. So terms. What is a term? An algebraic term. Okay. What is a pronoun rule? Let's start from a pronoun rule. Yes. Um, it's like a letter that represents a number. Yes, a letter that represents a number. So for example, if I say, you know, I don't know how many questions of maths I did on the weekend, let's say I did X amount. So I've represented the number of questions that I did, which I'm not sure about, with X, a letter. Do we always choose X? No, it's just our favorite one, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, so pronumeral can be anything. It can be a symbol as well. It doesn't have to be an alphabetical letter. It can be a Greek symbol or anything. We do use other symbols. However, letters of the alphabet, A to Z, are generally used. So what is a term then? Can X be a term? Yes. Can 7X be a term? Yes. Can 7X plus Y be a term? No. No. That's two separate terms. So you get a term when you have letters or numbers that are multiplied with each other. So you can have 7XZ. Is that still one term? Yes. 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 Because we have a number, 7. We have a letter X. We have a letter Z. Eyes on the board. If there are no signs in between the numbers and letters, what's, uh, what are they actually being they added or multiplied or subtracted? What? Multiplied. So this actually means 7 times X times Z. But because there's two letters, we don't have to write the time sign. If I had two numbers, so if between 2 and 3 I'm, being, I'm timesing, if I don't write the multiplication sign, then what is it? It becomes 23, doesn't it? So that is why it's important to write the multiplication sign when there's two numbers next to each other. However, if there's numbers and letters, you don't need to put the time sign. Is that clear? Put the calculators down, please, and focus on the board. Now, thank you. So, the term is when we have numbers and letters, but they only be multiplied. Are we clear on that? Yes? Yes. yes. What is an expression then? Yeah. A collection of terms. A collection of terms. Well done. So let's say I have a term AB. Is that a term? Yeah. Then I have another term XZ. So how do we collect them? What sign do we put? Um, any like sign that multiply, divide. Yeah, multiply, divide, adding. <coughs> is that an expression? Yes. So we've got two. <coughs> how many terms are there? Lots. We're adding them. We're dividing them. We can subtract as well. That is an expression. Okay, let's write an easy one, just with plus and minus first. Does an expression need an equal sign? No. Okay, let's say you are X years old today, all of you. How many, um, uh, what's your age today? X. X, just X, we don't know, right? Because you're all different, right? What will be the expression of your age two years from now? X plus what? Two. Two. So that is the general expression for your age in two years' time. I can't say everyone's 14 here. I'm clearly not. Not all of you are 14. So we can use, okay, if X is the pronoun root that represents your current age, what will be your age in two years' time? X plus 2. two. That is an expression. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Equations. We're not going to be dealing with equations today. However, what's the difference between an expression and an equation? Well done. An equation has an equal sign. An expression does not. Now, simplify. You get this a lot. Simplify. What does that mean? Make it as small as possible. Exactly. Do all possible operations that you can and make it the smallest or easiest version of that expression. So, what are we doing here? Adding or subtracting? Yes? Adding now, when we add or subtract pronumerals, it is the exact same thing as thirds. We only add or subtract like terms. Like terms have the exact same pronumerals. So, let's identify like terms. D and D. Is that like? Yes. yes. Now, D E squared, D E squared. Exact same pronumeral? Yes. yes. So, they are like terms. So it's like apples and oranges. If D is apples, you've got one apple, another apple. How many apples do you have? Two. Two. So you've got one D. If there's nothing in front of D, it means it is a? One. 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 So one D plus 
one D. How many Ds? Now, equals. Because your second line is equal to the first one, you must put an equal sign. 1D plus 1D is 2D. Now, how many D squared do you have here? 2. Right? D squared. So there's nothing in front of the D squared, so it's 1. So 1, and then you have negative 5. So what's 1? Take away 5. Negative 4. So you have negative 4 D squared. So the exact same thing like we did in like certs. But in certs we had to simplify. This is easy. We can't simplify our polynomials. But remember they must be the exact same terms. Next one. 9A. Any other A term? Yes. So 9A and minus 7A. So 9 take away 7 is? 2. So 2A. Now we move on to the next one. A squared and A squared. Like terms? Negative 4 plus 5. What is that equal to? Plus or minus? Plus 1a squared. Now, does it look pretty? 1a squared? No. Let's make it pretty. Just leave it as a squared. We don't need to write 1a squared. If you have an apple, don't you say I have an apple? You don't say I have one apple. Right? Just sounds nicer. So, we don't write 1a squared. We just say we have a squared. Okay? Are there any other terms? A cubed. But is there another term with a cubed? No. So can I do anything? No. Do I just take it off? Do I write it at all? No. I have to. So just write it as it is. Plus a cubed. Negative 3, again any other numbers? No. So write negative 3 as it is. So you can't drop terms. So if the, a term does not have another like term, just write it as it is. You can't do anything to it. Make sense? Yeah. Final question. MN. Or was it mn squared? I think that it was n squared n. Okay, n squared n. And nm squared. Are these like terms? Yes. No. Yes or no? Yes. No. Okay, how many m's do we have here? And n's? How many m's do we have here? N? So they are like terms. Doesn't matter if they've been written the other way around. They are. So like ab is equal to ba. mn is equal to nm. So in multiplication, does all amount matter? No. no. So m squared, n is the same as n m squared. Okay? Now, how many m squared n do we have here? 1 plus 5? 6. 6 m squared n. Is this a like term as well with n m squared? m n squared? No. How many m's does it have? 1. How many n's does it have? 2. So it's not the same term. Any other term with mn squared? No. So can I write it as it is? Yeah. So I've done these two and I've done this. Now, m squared. Any other m squared term? Yes. So 3m squared? Take away 3m squared. So 3 take away 3. What is that? Zero. So do I need to write 0m squared? No. 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 Just don't write it. So we have taken into account this. The reason I'm checking these is so that you know which ones you've actually looked after. What's left? Two n. Negative two n squared. Can't do anything to it, can it? No. But we still have to write it. So that's how we add or subtract like terms in algebra. We need. We now should remember what a term is and what an expression is. Any questions? No. Okay. Get on with you.